my channel and welcome to another Vintage Tips and Drinks video. Today I have a short and sweet one with a rooster in the background. <laughs> Today I have a short and sweet one just with a couple of hairstyles for you guys that are really simple and easy to do. They don't require any pre-styling, any curling or heating of the hair and they don't require any hairspray unless you want to put a touch in there just to hold straight hairs in place but you don't have to have hairspray to do this. I am going to be using a scarf for each hairstyle and I just need a couple of bobby pins and a hair tie. So if you grab those things and I will get started. So as you can see I have freshly washed uncurled hair so I'm just working with what nature gave me I have a scarf that I would say is about 70 to 80 centimeters in size I have four bobby pins at my disposal and a hair tie so for this first hairstyle I am just going to tie my hair in a low ponytail like so and I'm just going to pull the ponytail out to the ends of the hair. Then I'm going to get my scarf, I'm going to fold it in half into a triangle like so, and then two more times to make a long skinny scarf. Then I am going to make sure the ends are nice and even at the front, and I'm going to tuck my ponytail into my hair at the back there. Hopefully you guys can see and then I'm going to roll it up. Then I'm going to secure it in place with two bobby pins. Yeah. So, so far it looks like that. Then if we come around to the front, you're just simply going to tie it up like you were just making a headband out of your scarf. I like to tie it back around down here but you can tie it in a bow on top of your head or whatever takes your fancy. Then you just take these front sections and tuck it into the scarf. Mm -hmm. So essentially your scarf is becoming your hair rat. Then I just like to pin these pieces up so it looks a little bit more even. I am using my viewfinder to do this, so in a mirror it's always going to come out much better. <laughs> Having lots of fun today, everyone's deciding to make loud noises right when I'm trying to film. So there's like a rooster crowing and the neighbour is doing works in the backyard. <laughs> Story of my life! Right, so the back looks like this. You can type any messy bits in. But I mean it is a quick and easy hairstyle guys, so... Yeah. It's supposed to be something you can chuck in really quickly. The second hairstyle is very similar. Take that same scarf and tie it around the end of your hair, just like you did the hairband, but this time you're going to do it with the scarf and make sure it's nice and even when you tie it. So as you can see, it's at the end of my hair. I'm then going to flip my hair under and tie this around my face. So you get sort of a faux bob going on at the back. Let's make sure your hair doesn't get caught up or it's not gonna work. Now, if you are feeling a little bit 30s, you could leave it as a faux bob. Um, so I guess that's an extra hairstyle in here, but I like to use this as a little back piece for more of a 40 style and pin this down and I just pin it in I'm not worried about like the pins and stuff showing again this is a super quick hairstyle there we go and you end up with like a little pulled back 40 style so the hairstyle kind of gives you a couple of options I just like the way it frames the face I like having that little bit of hair popping out the sides here needs to be neatened up in a mirror but that is hairstyle number two the last hairstyle is basically the hairstyle that you saw in the introduction to this video basically it's kind of a snood meets a headscarf or a turban do so i start by simply separating my hair off like i'm doing a half up half down hairstyle and i just like to push the hair forward just to give myself a little bit of extra volume at the front here just i like a bit of volume who doesn't then you want your headscarf to be 
in half in a triangle just like it would be for a turban hairstyle. I tie off the back of my hair into a little kind of half bun at the back here just to give a little bit of volume to the back of the style. Then just like you would a headscarf or turban, you want to drape it over your head, bring it in and underneath your little half bun or ponytail and tie it over the top to line up with where your hairpins are for that kind of bouffanty front section. Now, the difference is that I don't pull this bit, this little triangly bit here in and underneath so much. I actually let it sit back a bit more so that I can pull it down and underneath the bun. So it's a little bit looser and more kind of snooty. Yeah, see I've got like a little pocket back here. Then I tuck this little bit back in and tie it down in a second knot just to keep it out of the way. I leave these bits out rather than tying them in a bow, but you know, personal choice. Tuck these bits in. I do like to pin here and here just to keep it all in place and then I cover it up with these. And then I just tuck these in and around. But you can tie them in a bow on the top, whatever takes your fancy. And there you go, once again, I would need it a little bit more, but I'm working with the tiny viewfinder, so I'm hoping it looks okay. <laughs> but that is the final style. So there we go, guys. Three quick and easy scarf-based hairstyles that you could just whip up in a couple of minutes for those days where you might have just washed your hair and it's super slippery and it doesn't take well to a set or you just haven't had time to set it, which is my life. So yeah, I use a lot of these very quick hairstyles that just basically cover up my hair <laughs> or I can tuck it in and no one knows that I haven't styled it. Yeah, so these are the dudes that I like to do. I hope you liked the video guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click that little notification bell so you know when my videos come out. Come and join the Vintage Tips and Tricks community. We would love to have you over on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video. Bye!